Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. How pretty do I look? Mm. Look pretty. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm not kidding. No. Don't move. Don't move. Do you see it? No. Oh my God. <laughs> that was Sierra. Are you putting him by his friend before you kill him? <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> Don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> you saved your fucking life. Your <laughs> eyes got so wide. Enough. Well, I saw it descend. It was like, do do do. Worst fucking case scenario. <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> and like, it was right after you got done talking shit about the other spider. So it was like, bitch said what? <laughs> Sorry? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I never expect to see them coming from above. I'm always on the lookout of, uh, on my sides and my. Well. F- and my downstairs, <laughs> but never my upstairs. <laughs> well, that's, that's how they get you. <sighs> it was at your 12. <laughs> it was. Normally they're at my six. <laughs> they went here. <laughs> oh, anyway. What's, What's up, up, everyone? everyone? Hello. Hello. How we doing? Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Truly, honestly, same. Yeah. So, um, I was going to apologize for my appearance, first thing. But and then, then you I, saw me? <laughs> no, no. Then I just remembered that being blind and 30 pounds heavier, I'm still a bad bitch. You okay, are. So you are. Don't apologize for it. Yeah, I'm not apologizing. But if you... I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I had that thought where I was like, don't apologize. Do you You're want bad. your feet out? I don't know. I'm kind of hot. Okay. I'm, I've been having really bad hot flashes. We're going to charge you all for, for these babies. No, I got my toes done. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's something inside of me. It's funny it's because, well, yeah, <laughs> but every time we get, you know, like, um, weird men on the internet who think they yeah. know our lives and want to say mean things to us for no reason. Yeah. It just fuels. I know that they're like, I am doing this and she's going to feel bad about herself. I think that Instead, they're just strengthening your daughter. <laughs> truly. They're just like fueling the feminism inside of me. Yep. And she's like, I'm growing stronger. <laughs> Yes. I'm like, keep going, buckos. She's going to come out like, come out of your Pikachu (laughs) like Pikachu, just lightning feminism. She's going to be like, don't touch me, dad. (laughs) Fuck the patriarchy. (laughs) Straight from the womb. (laughs) Fuck the patriarchy. I can't wait. I love it. So, yeah. Yeah. We spent the last couple days in misogyny. Oh, my God, you guys. We've had a tough time. (laughs) Well, it's our own fault. It's our okay. Here's the thing: some when we do serious topics, um, we don't normally get a whole lot of TikTokable moments out of it. And a lot of you have discovered us from TikTok. We don't do the podcast for TikTok, but it has brought a lot of you to us. Mm -hmm. So it is a valuable resource. Yes. So, however, (laughs) sometimes. I'm scraping like the bottom of the barrel of like, okay, this is a very serious moment, but like, there's some can giggles. I make it palatable for people on the internet to yeah. like, because our content on TikTok is so very like humor centric, right? And not the, the majority of our content. Serious stuff, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this one I could probably make work. And those are always the ones <laughs> <laughs> that either flop hard, yeah, or have us attacked yeah and boy oh really bro really and yeah. i was like hey you watched a one minute clip of a two hour special like yeah slow your and roll yeah i liked when people put our abuse in quotations oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah again did you see somebody uh said he was like neither one of these women are hot enough to be acting this way oh! and i was like first of all truck profile pictures <laughs> nine seven two eight <laughs> Um, you're not even in my league. So oh! why don't you sit the fuck down? You have no room to talk because Take several seats. You're a truck. <laughs> you're a truck. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Literally, I went to his profile. His profile picture was a truck. Every video was a truck. And I was like, are you a truck? <laughs> this man is a vehicle. He's insulting my attractiveness. Damn, I can't even pull a truck. <laughs> Um, how will I ever get a man to love me? <laughs> I'm an SUV lover at best. <laughs> I can't get a minivan after me. No, no shit. No. That's hysterical. I didn't see that one. No, I like the one that was like, I'm not going to teach you what your parents should teach you. And I'm like, my parents taught me exactly that. Yeah, half of this shit I learned from my parents. <laughs> so riddle me this. 
Oh. Did we forget that they could also be like, no. yeah, that's, you know what I mean? Like you can learn, that's the thing too. And I saw this beautiful TikTok from this woman who talks about how she's raising her children yeah. through like gentle parenting. I love her. Does she do her makeup while she does it? Yes. She's got short, like yes, buzz. Love her. She's amazing. Yeah. So if those of you who haven't seen our TikTok and don't know what we're talking about, we took a one minute oh, clip yeah. from the, the trauma second bonding. trauma bonding episode where we were talking about the first time that Sierra and Corey got into a confrontation right. and he was like hey I love you I running out do and doing this is not a healthy way to be in a relationship he set a boundary yes Sierra said you know showed it the made mirror. me realize that I was being toxic in that moment right and it opened my eyes because again every single fight I've ever seen growing up and mm -hmm. every single fight I had experienced to that point had been the back and forth big roller yeah. coaster toxic cycles don't just happen in romantic relationships you can see generational toxic cycles from your parents from your grandparents from tv yep. like yeah it's not just <laughs> one guy told us he was like that isn't from trauma literally women just want to be in hollywood movies and i was like what <laughs> You think um, I was just watching rom coms and I'm like, that looks fun. No, I've never looked at a rom com and thought, oh, I, I wish, wish my life. Yeah, never. That seems so fucking exhausting. Yeah, and I watch comedies, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> In reality yeah, TV, cut the rom. Yeah. Anyways, but that's that's what it was. And so the the woman was talking about with her child. She said. Um, I'm patient with my children because if my daughter, anybody comes up to me, like children don't know, their par parents always say, you know better. But yep. like, how do you know a lesson until you've been taught the lesson? Right. Like, you don't know. And better. it takes you more than one time to learn it. And she's like, imagine having to learn everything all at once. Yep. Like in school or anything, you're just getting barraged with like, da, 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 yeah. da, 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 da. and that's the same way on. Like learning how to be in a healthy relationship after seeing toxic, 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 being in toxic, toxic, yeah. toxic. And then you're you're seeing what a healthy one looks like. Do you expect people to just learn all at once and be like, I'm a child? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I was being immature. No. No. And it's hard. The, the reason, too, because people were annoyed that I was making jokes during it. But here's the thing. <laughs> Humor is a coping mechanism. We've one. said that so many times. And two... It's very hard to make other people feel safe enough to be introspective yes. and check their own behaviors if you're punishing them. That's exactly it. And what or I, belittling them. What I kept saying under comments, that's why the one that I pinned was like, um, she said, like, if you do this, don't shame yourself. Go yes. to therapy. Yes. It's OK. Blah, blah, blah. And that's exactly what I wanted people to get. So I'm glad that I and did. so many did. So, so, so many that's, did. That's, I was going to say, I got on my personal one and yep. scrolled and like all of the nasty ones were so far towards the bottom. Yep. So I'm not worried about people. There were so many more that were like, oh my God, I've done this. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Yeah. I didn't realize it was toxic. Blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And if you, if you notice somebody's doing something wrong and you, what I was saying about Corey in that moment, what I loved about him was he didn't try to shame me he didn't call me a child he didn't like berate me no because that's at me. what you were expecting i was and instead he calmly told me like hey this is a toxic behavior and i'm not he set a boundary i'm not gonna put up with this right he he didn't say something's gonna happen to you he just no. said i am not going to allow myself to be in this space you yeah. decide what you want to do with that yeah and then somebody else was like uh if it took her an ultimatum before she realized she was being toxic then blah 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 and i was like what First of all, fucking what? Also, I want to say for anybody watching, Corey's done toxic shit too. <laughs> like, we are growing together. Yes. And that's what most relationships are. I felt all but day But you yesterday, wanted to be vulnerable to say, it was my story. Me. Yes. It was my story. I don't want to tell his story about right. him. That's for him to tell if he wants to. And all day yesterday, he could tell I was in a funk. Yeah. And I was like, well, people just think you should leave me. <laughs> Well, that's what people were saying. People they were, like, were literally like, he's so much better than her. Mm -hmm. And so they were all saying day, both of our husbands should leave us. And I was like, oh, got to go tell him. <laughs> yeah. I have to go tell my nice, caring husband that I have to leave him for a piece of shit. Yeah. I was like, Corey, I'm sorry I'm having your baby, but you got to go. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll keep her and make her toxic too. Yeah. But it's just the way we are. I don't know what to tell you. The whole day he kept reminding me, he's like, Sierra, I've done stuff too. Like, and I'm like, I fucking know. <laughs> like, you don't have to tell me about it. Yeah. I know. But it's just. But you learned healthy communication. And together. that was like the first step of it because you would never. It is hard to stay 
mm-hmm. and be vulnerable mm-hmm. when you don't feel safe. Exactly. And that was his opportunity to give you an example. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, you're safe. Hey, you exactly. can stay. Yeah. And nothing bad's going to happen. And I told there was a couple people on there again. It wasn't their fault, but they were like, oh, I didn't realize like chasing. I just thought that meant that they loved you. And like the number one thing I want people to realize is if you are doing something to elicit a behavior, that is manipulation. Yeah. If you are specifically doing anything to try to get that person to behave in a certain way that you want them to, that's manipulation. Mm-hmm. So if that's your intent is I want them to chase me to prove their love, you are being toxic because you're manipulating right. them. However, showing them that you can stay and have healthy communication and, and uncomfortable conversations and still stay there. That's what I said. It's easy for me not to leave now because I know Corey's not going to leave. Right. He gives me security and love and like I am here no matter what. I don't ever have to worry that I'm going to come home and he'll have his bags packed or right. anything that my ex did when he was like, you don't have to do the to back leave. and forth. No. And now it, that makes me want to owe him that. Right. I want to him to feel that security as well. I want right. him to know like, you know what? You're right. And I'm not going to do that to you either. Because right. that's a fucking terrible way to feel. Mm-hmm. To have to always second guess like, am I going to right. wake up one day and she's decided she doesn't love me anymore? Right. Or whatever. So. But I also wanted to say too, um, what you said about if if your intent behind a behavior is to elicit a response, that's bad. But I don't want people to think that like giving themselves space to cool off from an argument. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's okay. Like I need to do that. So Shane do I. I've had that conversation where I say like, I need to go cool off sometimes. Yes. I need to step outside. He needs to step outside before we can come back together. Because if we stay in it's that gonna situation, we're going to say things that are hurtful that, that we, we don't, don't mean, mean because we're reactionary. Yep. I'm still healing from just unhealthy communication styles learned from the jump. Yep. So as I navigate that, I do have to remove myself, mm-hmm. but I'm not removing myself to see if he's going to chase me. You that's know what I mean? exactly it. So it's, that's the point. That's the, con- the important the point part. is to have the conversation to say, okay, and I can be this mad is at a him mirror. in a minute and be like, hey, I'm going to go to the other room. Please don't follow me. I need a minute. Yes. Like it takes two seconds to say that. Am I still pissed? Yes. But I want him to know I'm not leaving. Yes. But don't fucking follow me. This isn't a scare tactic. <laughs> yes. I just need yeah. a minute or I'm going to be mean to you. Yeah. But anyway, say what you were saying. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I think it had something to do with something. <laughs> but I might have gotten the point across already. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I just had to say that or I was going to forget it. I'm like, well, it's always a race to see who can I say know. it first before we forget. I know. I know. But I think it was, I, oh, it's what we wanted with a TikTok, which I didn't realize was going to blow up, but it did. <laughs> Surprise. Is um, I wanted it to be like, here's a mirror. Check yourself. Yes. Does this apply to you? Yes. Does it not apply to you? If you're a guy who feels like someone is doing this to you, and here's you don't, a healthy way to respond. Here's a healthy way to respond. Or if you don't want to be the person to respond, that's fine. You don't have this to. is something that I gave to Sierra as an example. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Abused. Yeah. Dogs. Okay. Or animals in general. You yeah. see these dogs who have been mistreated in a home. And so the dogs act aggressively or they're skittish or yeah. they're like doing undesirable behaviors. Yeah. Right. So that dog now is out of that abusive setting. The behaviors are still there because that dog doesn't know that it's not in the abusive setting. Yep. Is every owner going to know how to help that dog or want to help that dog? No, and they don't have to. No, and that's okay, but you don't need to look at that dog and be like, you're a piece of shit dog. You should die and be alone forever. (laughs) You know what, though? The people that fucking were saying that shit in our comments would be the people to be like, ah, put it down. Yes. It's It's hopeless. And you're not hopeless. That's what we wanted to get across. It's like, you can relearn it. The number one thing, the reason in that moment why that was such a like full stop for me yeah. was because I was understand like understanding your behaviors is the first step to yep. changing them. And so you can't change something if you are in denial that mm-hmm. it's toxic. So him pointing that out to me and me not immediately getting defensive because I knew he was doing it from a place of love, from yeah. a place of like, I care about you. So I need this to whatever. That was so, it was a much easier way for me to be like, damn, 
I really do need to check myself because this is not okay. And I don't want to hurt people right. like this. I don't want to continue to do this when we have children in the home or whatever. Right. Like it's not something I want my son to grow up seeing me doing and thinking that that's a normal thing to do to his girlfriend. Right. Things like that. So, but it's hard to do that growth when you don't feel safe. And so yes. he gave you that safe space. And yeah. yeah. Like, so many people got it. Uh, that's what. Yeah, it, yeah. There were so many people under there. So don't. I don't want. It just sucks that there was people that had to ruin it for everybody else. Well, it's which hard is when you're. It's hard when you're on the receiving end of constant hate because it makes you question, like, uh, was that, whether the point was made. Yeah. But there were so many people who got it, so that was really validating. And I have to keep reminding myself that was one minute of such a long conversation that so, so many people got so many things from yeah. we've had so many messages from, and thank you for those for the trauma yeah. bonding i'll be honest i haven't been able to read a lot of them because a lot of them were discussing their own abusive right. relationships and that's a little bit difficult still for me to look at so we understand if you need to like dump vent that out, vent it out but, but just understand i might not respond <laughs> Or even yeah. read it because it is a lot for me because yeah. I'm still healing. That's the thing. It takes so mm -hmm. much time. I spent my entire therapy with Barbara. Um, Discussing that? Talking about my past relationship because yep. I had never talked about it before mm -hmm. um, or acknowledged it. And she looked at me and was like, you've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I guess I have. I love it when they say that because I'm like, no, I haven't. But I'm like, yeah, yeah I kind of fucking have. Because you, you almost invalidate yourself all the time to oh, yeah. keep going because if you sit with it, then. Well, and the people heavy. saying those things were like, it doesn't matter if you've been abused before. That's not an excuse. So in my it, eyes, <laughs> it was right, which is. But it does. That's it does not matter. how psychology works. Yes. Um, no, it's not now, how your brains work. We have said before that. Now it's your, your responsibility. It is your responsibility. Yes. But it it does affect you. Yes. And it is an important factor in our behaviors. Yeah. And it's hard if you've never seen or learned anything different yeah. to make that change. Exactly. Because you don't know you're doing something wrong. Exactly. And so it was the, after reading those that was tough for me because it was like, did I like ask for that? Did I bring that abuse to me because I'm just a toxic bitch? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, Tara, you are with somebody who treats you well now. <laughs> like That is not just because of him. That's right. because of the person you are now, too, and how well you've both mm -hmm. done together. Like, right. So <sighs> tough. But mm -hmm. what are you going to do? <laughs> well, um, that has paled in comparison to what has been my last <laughs> I, just burped into my <laughs> I heard it I didn't even mean to it, it was one that came up and I didn't even feel I don't it. even know if you would have heard it because Shane has this new like leveler oh, good. situation okay. but I went to my sister-in-law's baby shower today yes and she lives in PA so it's a bit of a hike for us to get there it's almost two hours Oof. So we went to my mother-in-law's last night because we're like, that'll be a faster drive. Mm -hmm. Heads up. It's fucking not. We should have just drove from our house. We made <laughs> our life so much harder. And yesterday on the way to Shane's mom's house, Forrest pukes <gasps> all over himself. No. All over himself. It, like, Was they it had, like real puke? Yes. No. Yes. The first time it's like real puke and not spit up is horrible horrifying Bad. so they had to like take a q-tip to his <gasps> chair and i felt terrible because i was at a wedding yeah <laughs> so i like missed it all and then i was driving the kids back today we drove two separate cars because mm -hmm. i was driving from cleveland yesterday so i'm driving back and we get all the way to the exit and i hear ollie go oh and Ollie starts vomiting no! and i'm like is this fucking for real <gasps> is this for real do you know why? Are they sick? Car sick. Uh-huh. Noah did that too. Oh, poor guys. Yeah. Noah had poor guys. Poor well, fucking us. Okay. <laughs> they sorry. got they got a bath and they got three pieces of toast. They were living large. <laughs> yeah. So they've been good since. Yeah. Oh. I mean, all and for you too. they were fine too. all day. Yeah. Wow. That stinks. I know. I it does. Say, it truly does. <laughs> My car know. smelled like... like cherry something yeah but there was a lot of cucumbers <laughs> do you remember not to hijack your story but i was done so oh, okay good. my uh noah he i was gonna ask if it was anxiety related because mm. when noah started preschool 
for like two weeks straight, that boy threw up every morning before school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Now I can't send you to school. So I wouldn't. And then he'd be fine. And I was like, are you doing this on purpose? (laughs) You fucking with me? So, and he was only like three. Yeah. So I had to ask his pediatrician and he was like, oh, that sounds like he's just anxious about school and big changes. He was about to become a big brother um, because his little brother was born when he was four. So I don't know if that was like in there with him, but everything was he and but because it was big kid puke every yeah, day. I was like, bad. no, <laughs> it is fucking gross. But at that moment, you can't be mad at them because no, you're like, I oh felt my terrible, god, I'm so but- <laughs> sad for you. <laughs> I felt so bad because, <laughs> like, when Ollie did it, he tried to catch it and he tilted his head back, and I'm like, you're gonna fucking choke on that. Just like let it flow, buddy. Like let it come out. And then I got him out of the. <laughs> I got him out of his car seat and he stood there like a starfish and he was just going, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Babe, you're fucking gross. <laughs> and then he was trying to walk, but because he had puked like into his own lap, he was like starfish waddling. And I was like, just come here. Let me get those pants off. You look a mess. You yeah. look a goddamn mess. He was time- walking like a cowboy with his chaps on. Yeah. Put him up. <laughs> yeah. The first time that Noah did it, he was not even close to a bathroom. So, like, I didn't know what to do because he just started vomiting onto the floor. And I, like, put my hands out to catch it. And I was like, what am I doing? (laughs) Why am I trying to catch this? It would be easier if you just cleaned it off the floor. But I just wanted to, like, help in any way that I could. It was a mess. What a mess. Children are messy. But I love them. Mm -hmm. You know who else has been pukey? me you have been yeah it's coming back around i'm getting like Yuck. every symptom that i had in my first trimester mixed with gross more <laughs> i feel one. like you've been pregnant forever everybody keeps saying that to me and i'm like you guys think i learned <laughs> i was pregnant when i was three and a half weeks <laughs> like yeah literally it was- we thought you were pregnant with twins yeah because of how quickly i got all my symptoms well and your hormones were high super high i tested positive eight days after i've ovulated yeah it was a very That's light. Fast. It was very faint, but uh-huh. it was, yeah, it was like the earliest that you can get a positive. Yeah. And then at 10 days, I got my bright line and I was like, why don't I remember how you told me? Because I told you over Merkable. <laughs> you did? I, feel, I still feel really bad about that. I remember. Oh, is this <laughs> sad that I remember how you told me? Well, with that's the one you why, miscarried. That's why I didn't. Miscarried. Miscarried. <laughs> that's yeah. why I didn't want to make it a big thing because I was like. Uh, you were scared. In my mind, and trigger warning for miscarriages, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. But it was only two and it's like two and a half or three months after I miscarried. Yeah. And um, so in my mind, I was like, it's not going to last. So I took a test and I was like, well, I'm pregnant. But like for how long? You yeah. know, when's this one going to end? So I remember showing you here. And being like, look, it's kind of because we had a podcast. And I was like, do you see? It looks like a really faint line. And then I was like, but I think I'm going to drink a white claw. <laughs> because it wasn't a big line. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a definite positive. It no. was like that could be an evaporation line. That's exactly what and it, I had had. I had been trying for nine months. So yep. I had had so many uh-huh. f- like faint false positives or whatever. Yep. You'd, you, at that point, you'd had so many that looked like that that you're like, I was like I'm not fucking holding no my fucking breath. Way. Yeah, yeah. Two days later on Valentine's Day, uh-huh. I remember me and Corey were watching the Richard Ramirez documentary. <laughs> and I was like, I have to pee. And then I was like, I'm just going to take this digital one and another one. I peed into a cup and I stuck them both in. And I was like, because whatever. Dink. dink. Yep. And before the digital, because it, you know, it blinks for a while. It was like, bloop, line on the other one. And I was like, Corey! But even to him, I didn't do anything exciting. I just walked out and I was like, hey, I guess I'm pregnant. <laughs> And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, it's positive. So, and he was like, okay. He didn't get excited because. But you know why? He already knew. He did because he told me like three days before. Well, this, you guys don't know this. This was cut out of the podcast where we brought Corey and Shane on. (laughs) Corey went on a whole big rant about how he doesn't believe in horoscopes and the woo woo shit and (laughs) psychics. He (laughs) thinks it's all like hocus pocus. Mm -hmm. And. But at the Only same because time, he's a nurse and he's very science based and blah, he's blah, just whatever. very skeptical. He's he is very much like a sag in that way. Yeah, very much. <laughs> but then he 
I don't even know if being skeptical is a sad thing. But then in the same token, he kept saying to you, Sierra, I think you're pregnant. Sierra, yeah. I just have this feeling. I mm -hmm. believe that you're pregnant. And I think we should stop drinking. And yeah. you're like, um, I am not pregnant. So Because that was like a week before I yes. tested. And yes. he was like, I think you should stop drinking. I'm like, first of all, I wouldn't. it wouldn't even be implanted by now. Right. So like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and I had only had two at that point. Yeah. And he was like, no, I'm dead serious. You are pregnant. I'm, he like looked me dead in the eyes and he goes, you're pregnant right now. Uh -huh. And I was like, Corey, it doesn't How even do work you know? He's like, I have a feeling. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you, so you're so allowed you to be psychic, <laughs> but no one else can be. Which is funny because I, I talked to a psychic. Remember that? Yes. And she told me when it was going to happen and that it was going to happen when I saw this token thing, which mm -hmm. I saw it. And then I tested positive that month. Yep. She told me that in June, I was going to have a big ultrasound. That was my 20 week scan. Yep. And she told me that it was going to be a girl. Yep. And uh, I told Corey all that. And I was like, I just want you to know if you are correct. You have to fucking admit that psychics are real <laughs> because she guessed everything right. Yes. And, and so did you. Yes. Yeah. You little psychic? Yeah. So yeah, um, because of that, I was nervous. And so I remember being like on Marco Polo in the middle of a rant. And I was like, yeah, and I'm just feeling like shit today. Oh, because of this. And then like flashing. My <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, I literally said to you, but don't get your hopes up. I'm not even like taking it seriously yet. I didn't want to take it seriously until I saw a doctor. That's so sad, but seriously. No, I get it. I it's get it hard after after. having miscarriages. Like, I yeah. get it. It makes sense. Because I was just like, this isn't a real baby to me yet. Yeah. It's just a line. Um, yeah. I still was like, stopped drinking and did everything yeah. correctly, but I was like, not going to put my <laughs> hope into it until I saw that heartbeat for the right. first time. And then when I did, it really became real. So yeah. I didn't tell a lot of people. My poor mom and my sister. We were going to Kalahari for Noah's birthday, oh, yeah. and we were on our way. I oh, yeah, get you the, like I have to tell them because I can't. I can't drink, drink and they wanted me to drink with mm -hmm. them up there. So well, I get in the car, and I was, I didn't want to tell Noah yet. I wanted to wait until we saw the heartbeat yep. to tell Noah. So I get in the car, and I was like, "Hey, uh, full disclosure, in case you guys ask me to drink, I am pregnant." <laughs> <laughs> That's how I told them. I was like, I have to say it now because we were on our way to yeah. pick up Noah. And I'm like, so do not say anything to him. And they were like, yeah, it's like after a miscarriage, <laughs> you just like blurt it out. Like it's fucking nothing. There's I no did. more fun things no, at all. I didn't. Yeah. Corey told his whole family. it makes you feel like an idiot. Yeah. Well, Corey told his whole fucking family when I wasn't there. I was in Kalahari. He told his whole family. <laughs> I was like, Tight. So Sierra is pregnant, everyone. To be fair, though, with my miscarriage, I got I got all the big reactions. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep those. <laughs> keep, yeah, 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 yeah. Apply those to this one. Yeah. The, no. the only really cute reaction I got was after was Noah. Yeah. And he was like, the baby's back. And mm. I was like, mm -hmm, she is. So cute. <laughs> yeah. So, so everything sucks when I'm dying. <laughs> do you want to answer some questions? Yeah, do you want to answer some questions? I got on, I knew that we were going to do a pregnancy update, and I know that Sierra has some things to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, but I also put up a QA box, just That's pregnancy good, related. I just could not think of things. The only yeah. thing I was going to mention was I don't know if you knew this. This is why I'm wearing glasses, folks. But well, hold your on. What's your most surprising side effect? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, in your last trimester, apparently fluid builds up behind your eyes. What? Yes. I just read this on my pregnancy app and it can make your vision blurry. It and can you make get... your vision blurry. <laughs> <laughs> and like my eyes have been watering all day. There's apparently some kind of, it's a progesterone thing again. Yeah. So that to me has been my weirdest one wow. so far is that my vision will just get blurry out of nowhere and I'll have to put my, my glasses I can see way better with. I, I'm going to tell you my ADHD is really bad today. Okay. Me I've too. noticed it all day today. <gasps> I was going to say that too, because I think mine's really, really getting it's bad. bad. I tried to read last night because I was having fucking contractions and heartburn all night. I stayed up till six in the morning. It was terrible. Yeah. And, um, I was reading my book and I had to read the same I page. Love that like, you air quoted that you were reading. Your <laughs> well, book. because I wasn't really, I was reading the same page five times <laughs> and I was like, what? Is fucking on this page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because if you quiz me right now, I could I would tell not you. know. I my brain was like everywhere but on the paper. Yeah. It was exhausting. Well, you said your glasses and my head immediately went to his glasses. He can't see without <laughs> his glasses. Oh, that's so sad. I know. I'm, I am really all over the map right here. Yeah, but truly I can't see without my glasses. I am legit blind. Next one. Which pregnancy has been easier physically? Noah. 
Yeah. No, it was you, you were also 10 years I was, younger. Yeah, 20 years old, then it was so easy. Plus, I was on bed rest, which was hard on me mentally, yeah. but physically, I was fine yeah. because I wasn't up doing a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah. the toll. I also was really not that sick with Noah in the beginning. I was sick as shit with yep. this one, like bad for up to 20 weeks. And now it's coming back, mm-hmm. which is annoying. Um, With Noah, it was like barely. And then it stopped at like 10 weeks. So lucky. You said barely in my mind. went Barely. <laughs> Just do that. I know. I'm. S- it's like people love us for that. I g- do you guys. It's bad today. Yeah. Um. But then... Like physically with this one towards the end is way harder. Like mm. my bones hurt. Everything yeah. hurts. Maybe it did with Noah, but I don't remember it being this bad. I don't remember. I remember there's a picture of you. We went to. I wasn't going to say where we <laughs> oh, went whoopsies. because it's a local place. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a chain. It's not. It's just three of them and they're all local. Oh. <laughs> To this specific county. Sorry, we went to Pan Pizzeria. <laughs> we went to a pizza place, went to an Italian restaurant. Yes. And you had your drink sitting on your belly. Yep. <laughs> I, you were wearing a pink floral top. And my Hollister hoodie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if I could tell you that I had my son in 2011. Yep. Um. Well, I had him in 2009, but. What I mean, are you? Uh, 2012. What I was going to say, you had it in 2012. <laughs> when you said 11, I was like, that's not right, but we'll let it go. <laughs> what are you most excited for with having a new baby? Um, Just seeing her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Yeah. So just her little, like, feeling her on my chest or, like, smelling her. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love new baby smells. They um, have to smell good and be cute because if not, I would hate that. <laughs> <laughs> the no. crying and the shitting and the puking would get yeah. old. But I really love newborns. I think everybody that knows me knows that I'm. That's like my favorite stage. And everybody else is like, I can't stand the newborn stage. Like that is my favorite. Yeah. But I just love cuddly babies. Like, oh, yeah. you can't run from me yet. You can't push off me yet. <laughs> this is perfect. So, you nuggle with mama. Yeah. I'm just really excited for the cuddles. Yeah. Isn't I'm it so strange, it like, that you have no idea what she looks like? Yes. That blow. That I, was like, the most exciting part for me. Like, me too. who are you? That's why I know so many people who are like, I love that they're like team green. They want to do wait until like the baby is born for oh, the sex oh, reveal, oh, oh. you know? But at the same time, I want to be like, I, I get that that's exciting because it's like, boy or girl. But for me, the most exciting thing is like, what color hair do you have? What do you have? Your eyes yeah. look like, which they're all like the same at first. But like, yeah. well, who are you going to look like? What mm-hmm. are you going to look like? Who yeah. are you going to be? I know. I can't wait. I remember, this isn't a question that was asked, but I remember, <laughs> well, maybe it was, I didn't look, being really, and I don't know if there's any pregnant people out there or any other moms who can relate to this, but, or parents in general, because I think Shane can relate as well, that I was nervous Mm -hmm. for Ollie to come because I was like, what if he sucks? Yes. What if he sucks? (laughs) What if he sucks and he ruins my relationship with my husband, who is like my number one teammate? We're like joining and having another player come on the team and maybe he can't fucking, I know he can't pull his weight. No. (laughs) And then what if what he, if he can't pull his weight and yes. then I, I resent him? That's why I had to have a real big talk with Corey because I was like, we have to be a team. We have to go into this knowing this is going to be hard because yep. I'm going to start to resent you if you rely on me for everything. So yeah. I already told him, I was like, guess who's getting first diaper change? You, <laughs> bud. <laughs> You're going to do diaper changes. I'm going to show you how to feed the baby right off the bat. So yeah. that, you I'm feel comfortable. But like pump yeah because when i'm not like i don't want to have to helicopter mom yeah this one i did with noah but that was well, more yeah. so because dave had to go back and work he was working 12 hour shifts and like and i don't know that there have been some dads or some partners who want to be able to do those midnight feedings yeah. um, and give the their partner a break yeah and it's just not doable sometimes sometimes the moms don't want it Mm -hmm. or sometimes they um the babies just like won't allow it or whatever and so like i'll probably do most of the nighttime stuff but i'm a night owl and so it's just easy for me but i told him i was like as long as you can give me a break when you get home from work and i can take a nap or something do it get a shower anything just take a break when you get home 
we'll be good to go. Yeah. But like, I don't want to have to stand there and make sure you're using the right stuff to feed or you're changing her correctly. Like I want you to learn all that stuff so that yep. like when you are back to work or whatever, we can get those breaks. Or like when you have to come back to yes, work. Yes, exactly. If she I wakes don't want to worry yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Ooh, it's so gonna- weird. It's going to be crazy having an entirely new Human. dynamic. I started rearranging my house. I'm nesting like a yeah. fucking beast right now, which is crazy. I never nested with Noah. Mm-hmm. Like people were like, nesting happens before you have your baby. I was like, I think I'm broken. <laughs> because I don't want to clean or do anything. Yeah. But this one, I'm like, where are we going to put things? I'm going to clean out this whole cupboard. And like, I'm nesting in the dumbest ways <laughs> because I'm like, this, this, and this needs yep. done. But I'm going to rearrange my bathroom cabinet. <laughs> like, that was me so... with our dishes. Yes. It doesn't make any sense to me. No. But because of that, um, it's getting me so excited because I can like envision her be, I'm like, okay, this is going to be life with another person here. Yeah. Like, I think I can do it. I was real nervous. Yeah. <laughs> but the the closer it gets to it, I'm like, oh, I'm, I just feel so much like in a better place than I was with Noah. Everything was uncertain with Noah. And I was just like, I mean, I could probably do it. I've babysat children before, but now I'm like, I have raised a very good child. Yeah. And he is an amazing human. And I did it for the majority of the time, like after Dave wasn't around anymore. Right. I did that basically by myself. Right. So. I'm not worried about it anymore. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Yay. Yay. And to know that I have a supportive partner now is freaking great. Oh, yeah. And I feel and like his family. Knowing that you have the support system yes. is huge, but also knowing a, your way around mothering. Yes. Like it, it's crazy to me to think that with you and Noah and me and Ollie, mm-hmm. we are still experiencing first yes. all the time. Yep. All the time. We're never going to stop experiencing first with our firstborn. Yep. But with our second, it's like, okay, oh, now I have a little before. bit more experience. There's yep. a little less fear with it. Uh, you just are more comfortable. But like, it's weird to be in that state of comfortability with one child and uncertainty with another. Yes, it definitely is. Ugh, and yours are 10 years apart. So <laughs> it's crazy. Everyone wants to know her name, but her name will come out later. Yeah, you can't know it yet. I mean... But you, but you do. You do know it. <laughs> it's Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory Gail. Cheshire kitten. Gregory Gail. <laughs> what role models do you want her to look up to? That's a cute question. That's a really cute question. Um, RBG, mm-hmm. my girl. Um, just God. There's so many. I wish you were like me. Me, obviously me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. There's so many strong women. And like, this was a question that was asked that is so quick that I can't think off the top of my head. Yeah. But, um, <sighs> just we... any of the four women that were on your shirt. Yeah. AOC. Like, I don't want to make them all political, though, because really, truly, it's not. It's just women that have changed the world. And yeah. I feel like there are women that have done that in such subtle ways, but it's still. Yeah. So they don't get the the recognition. I just want her to know that she can change the world if she yeah. wants to. And if she doesn't, she's not worth any that's, less. Yes. Yeah. And that's okay. That's totally fine. What are you going to miss most about being pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Honestly, honestly, I kind of like the way my body looks. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, I'm still really into it. I walk past naked. Not so much anymore. <laughs> second trimester body i was like oh my god my tits are great yeah and my belly is so cute now i kind of look like a <laughs> like an orangutan yep i get up naked in the middle of the night i'm like oh my god <laughs> look at her, <laughs> so, <laughs> her. <laughs> so that's alarming um mm-hmm. what am i gonna miss about i like feeling movements i'll yeah. miss that but it's gonna be cooler because i'll see them you know what's the crazy outside. is like i miss finding out i'm pregnant yeah like that exciting moment of like oh my god new life yep our world is different who are you going to be like Mm -hmm. just that split second of imagining everything yes knowing that's never going to happen again for me because because shane has a vasectomy now (laughs) per my choice yeah (laughs) per my request um that's something I hated every bit of being pregnant. Like, yeah, there were cool parts of it. Like, I loved feeling them move and stuff like that. But 
Like right um, now, people are like, oh, don't you love her movements? And I'm like, no, she's too big. Yeah, like they her hurt. Her movements today were hurting. Mm-hmm. And she's got all of her limbs over on this side, and she'll just push them out. And I'm like, that skin is so thin there. Like, yeah. please stop. Yeah. So there's not a lot that I love. And I know there's some women out there that are like, I loved every minute. What a blessing. And like, good for you. But that's not everyone's experience. And it doesn't have to be. Yeah. It doesn't make them any less of a mother. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Just for me, it suckety sucked. <laughs> it does suck. For a lot of people, it sucks. How's your pregnancy affected your mental health? Is it hard not taking medication? <sighs> it's bad. Um, you weren't on medication hmm. for any of your mental health related things. I was but on Boost Bar for anxiety. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Actually, right before I got pregnant, I was on it for because of I was nervous about school. I was like, hey, I'm anxious. I wanted to oh, start on ADHD yeah. medication, but she was like, that's not since you're trying to conceive. So she gave me one that would be good for trying to conceive and for if I was pregnant, but it made me really nervous to take while yep. I was pregnant. So I stopped. Um, and honestly, I didn't need it. That was yeah. when I was like fully immersed in school. And I was like, oh, I feel comfortable. I wasn't having anxiety too much. I would love to see what ADHD medication can do for me. So I can't wait to yeah. be on that afterwards. I hope that I can try that out because I just have a feeling like this nesting thing has really got me into the point where I'm like, I want to be able to focus and clean a freaking room. Yeah. And like when I'm nesting, that is like. Do people do that? What? Clean a room? Focus? Yeah. <laughs> yes, apparently you can. Oh. And I know, I again, I'm all for medication because I've seen it work with Noah. Yep. Like, he is night and day when he takes his ADHD med- medication. Everybody's like, it makes them zombies. No. Yeah. Like, it can if it's the wrong dosage and the sure. wrong for sure. medication. But for him, with the right everything, yep. he is so much energy still he's still the same goofy personality if anything it makes him a better kid because he can he's not like physically in pain because he can't sit Mm -hmm. still or focus or whatever because it's hard i can attest right now it is a struggle (laughs) to just keep listening yes yeah i've had days like that yeah and i was finding myself upstairs um, when you texted me and said that julian solomita talked about us i don't know if that's true whoever Said that they heard about us through Julian Julian Solomita. Show yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and show us where he said it. Because I will freak out. Amazing. Um, but where was I at? Oh, you sent me that, and then I was like then obsessed with figuring out if he said it or yep. not. But how the fuck am I ever gonna find that out? You started hyper focusing. I did. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, but I also need to do TikTok. Oh, but also I need to get the camera gear ready. But also I need to get these emails out. But also and I was like just walking back and forth in the kitchen doing absolutely nothing yes. because I was just changing thoughts so quickly. I used to think again, excuse me. I have such bad heartburn and it is just <laughs> coming up on its own. Um, I used to think that I had depression because I would lay in bed and just stare at the wall and think my m- thoughts would race. I'm like, this is anxiety and depression, obviously. No, I think it's I was so overwhelmed with every task in my head and my ADHD mm-hmm. that I'm very positive that I have, um, but not formally diagnosed yet. But Please, you out there who are not who are self-diagnosing also get a formal diagnosis. Yes. I, I feel like I did because my doctor was so ready to put me on. Yeah. But I would also like to double check it with a therapist yes. as well. So like my my physician was like, yes, yes, you are exhibiting every symptom. But I would like to get to. Yeah. Anyways, um, before I say that I'm officially diagnosed, but I would just sit there and be like, there's too much inside of me and I don't know where to start. So I'd rather do nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to stay here and do nothing. And th- is it like peaceful? no yeah <laughs> it feels like shit because i'm like there's so much that needs done and i can't yeah. do it it's um, a bit crippling it is oh and my mental health it has been really really hard being pregnant yeah. it's hard because somebody asked me today they're like oh so are you less anxious a lot of people knew how anxious i was in the beginning because of the miscarriage um and they're like are you less anxious now you're like ready to go i've also had cervix issues so like it's been nerve-wracking knowing that like at any minute my cer- or my water could break or my cervix could shorten and like I'd go into labor and now it's like to the point where she would be okay if I did yeah. and I'm like no that still doesn't I- Ask well any, you also parents- had s- some ultrasounds that were like yes she there are some concerning things on the ultrasounds yes um which aren't too concerning I've talked to a lot of healthcare professionals that are like that's actually pretty common 
she's got fluid around one of her kidneys that's getting bigger. But um, it, I've heard that it's like not yeah. a terrible thing. It normally goes away by itself. But I think most parents can attest that like the anxiety never gets better. Right. Like there are still moments. My son is almost 10 and I still run into his room when he sleeps too long and like make sure he's breathing. Honestly, yeah. it's just like one of those things that I don't think ever gets easier. Yeah. Uh, are you scared? Very. What I'm more scared, scared now than I'm. I was with Noah. Everything about giving birth. Very much so about giving birth. <laughs> um, I am terrified of labor at this point. And everybody's like, "But you've done it before. You know you can." I'm like, "Yeah, that every was... single birthing experience is so different." And my first one was kind of traumatizing. Yeah, I think because I didn't know, and I I'm trying to read and like get as comfortable with it as I can. But I have been having contractions pretty consistently for about a week to maybe two weeks now. And fucking out. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how bad they are. Today I had one. Today I contracted for about two hours consistently to the point where I thought, like, we're going to the hospital. Um, and then they started becoming sporadic and it was. Yeah. But I was having them full belly and back labor like contractions. And I was like, I don't know what back labor feels like. Oh, and I'm so grateful. My God. It feels like burning hot knives like above your butt cheeks being like eee. twisted. And it gets real tight. And you're like, ha, ha, ha. it feels like a back spasm, but like it's burning and it's ah, sharp pain. Yikes. Yeah. So I had those today and I was like, shit, Corey, this might be the real deal. Cause with Noah, that was what I, I had back labor yeah. over real contractions. But they went away. So that's making me nervous um knowing what healing is like yeah. makes me nervous because it's not fun no it is <laughs> it's not. very scary yes it is um and people don't talk about people don't talk about postpartum healing. they no. don't talk about the fourth trimester and yes how your hormones are still batshit bananas they g skyrocket during labor yes and then drop it fucking so low plummet and they they tend to drop like right when your partner has to go back to work and you're by yourself all day mm -hmm. that is fucking what's so scary to me what i'm so nervous about now luckily Corey's gonna have one to two weeks off work whereas when i had noah dave went back the day we got out of the hospital yep. he, he just that was the jobs we had he yeah hey america any, can we yeah. fucking get some maternity and paternity, paternity leave? leave for the love of fuck like yeah. Women need people, pregnant people, people who yes. give birth, people who bring babies home, need yes. their partners home with them for a little bit of time. Honestly, two weeks is fine, but like it should be like fucking six weeks. It should be like six months, honestly, yes. if I'm being real. Yeah. There are people I know around the world who are like, oh, baby, you want six months? We get a year. Canada? I know. Canada? <laughs> with your year long maternity leave? You asked. I know. I went back after four weeks. Yeah. I love you, though. That's great for you. I was shooting a wedding after three. Woof. And it's so hard because you want to feel back to normal. And everybody tells you, like, you'll go right back to normal. Like, nobody you talks don't. about that. You don't. You, you don't. really don't. Mentally, you don't. Physically, you don't. Everything hurts still. Like, mm -hmm. your back will still hurt. You'll still get phantom kicks, which is freaking weird. Um, you cramp and contract for like a week after. Like I, didn't you, my postpartum anxiety was so bad. Yeah. I was like, oh, that you were saying cramping. Yeah. Whenever I would breastfeed or I would pump, yep. the cramps yep. were so bad. Nobody talks about that. If, if you are breastfeeding or if you are pumping, um, your uterus will contract along with it, yep. and it is just as painful as a like real contraction labor contraction because it is it's like trying to squeeze all the rest of that stuff out of there yep and woof um so that's i i think i'm the most nervous about postpartum honestly birth i'm like whatever i know that it's bad but um it doesn't last as long yeah. i'm like it was bizarre for me because like my labor with ollie was fine yeah my recovery was horrible yeah absolutely fucking horrible and like it affected my mental health so much more mm -hmm. because i was in so much physical pain i couldn't even walk yes i couldn't sleep i couldn't Same. be comfortable what so fucking ever yep. but then with forest my labor was a nightmare <laughs> but my recovery was not so bad yeah was it great no it wasn't like uh, at all delightful yeah. but it was not, not as bad yeah yeah that's um Something that we don't talk about that often. And yeah. postpartum, everything postpartum is very 
difficult and should be talked about because I would sit there and remember and lay on my side and stare at Noah. He was in his like bassinet beside my bed and I would just cry like mm-hmm. hard cry. And I'd have to put the blanket in my mouth because I didn't want Dave to know that I was crying because I didn't want him to be like, what? We just had yeah. a baby. It's fine. But I was like, <laughs> the fuck is your problem? I don't know why I'm crying. Yeah. I, I didn't know. In my head, I was just like, what did you do? You stupid idiot. Like your life is going to be different, way different way to just ruin your whole like early 20s, yeah. blah, blah, blah. This was going on in my mind. I had postpartum depression. So like but anything also, I say from this yeah. point on, keep that in mind and don't stigmatize and all that stuff. Yeah. Like I had no control over my own thoughts. Yeah. Oh, I, I'll be straight up honest. There were times I was lying in bed, crying hysterically, Googling, is it normal that I want to walk out on my family and never return? Yes. And turns out it, it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> there are a plethora of other women who felt the same way, other people who felt the same way, where I, I, sorry that we keep saying women. We are trying so hard yes. to correct ourselves and acknowledge the fact that not just women give birth or yes. bring babies home. So apologies. It's the first thing that fly out of our mouth. We do recognize women are not the only people who do this. So people, there are other people who felt the same way that I did, mm-hmm. that I felt like I was so overwhelmed and I was fucking everything up yep. and I was, they deserved better and they would be okay if I just left. Yes. And then I would feel lighter if I just left yeah. because I wouldn't be burdened with the thought of ruining everyone's lives. Yes. I remember like recently you and I have had a discussion, which I didn't realize that perinatal depression is a thing. It mm-hmm. happens in the third trimester. So I think I'm already like hitting that, which is great. Yeah. Um, not so much the blues kind of part, although I did cry the other day because my back hurt so bad, but like I'm starting to feel less attached to her than Mm -hmm. I did in the beginning, which is so sad because I want to, like, I know I love her, but physically I'm just like, meh. Yeah. And it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not any of your fault. If you, I experienced that with Ollie. If you don't feel an attachment to your baby when they're inside of you or when they're outside of you, that is something that happens to a lot of people. And I don't want to say it's normal, but it is something that it, it's a chemical imbalance. Yeah, yeah, you're not alone. And it's not your fault. It is right. not your fault. You're not a bad person. Right. You didn't do anything wrong. And it goes away. Me and my son have the fucking best bond ever now. Right. Like we are. It was just I had postpartum depression. and. That was, I think it started too when he was in the womb, but it was my first baby. So I was just all those I, exciting things. I ultimately things. think it's kind of unrealistic to expect someone to love someone that they've never met before. Literally, I'm just going to say, I, don't know I think you. it's unrealistic. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, right? You might suck. Like I saw this TikTok the other day that was like about a feed. The woman was pregnant. And she's like, but if I were to choose, I am not leaving my children. My, I love those children. I know those children. I raised right. them from babies. I don't know you. (laughs) I can't leave those. And that's how I feel right now. I keep thinking like I should love her as much as I love Noah. And I'm like, that's so unrealistic. It is. Noah has been in my life for 10 years. I've raised him from a literal infant to who he is now. I know him. He knows me. We have a huge bond. Right. To expect that I feel the same way about her right yeah. now is well, not I think realistic. Maybe I don't know if there's any connection to attachment styles where like how yeah. we were uh, the attachment style yeah. we developed as babies and as we grew up, how we attach to people, if that affects how we attach to even the people we make. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I I uh, you can hate me. Everyone already does on the internet. All the men already do on the internet. <laughs> we but don't give a fuck anymore. I, I just think it's unrealistic. And I think that anything that someone hates themselves for in the dark, I want, because I did. I yes. hated myself and thought like, I'm a terrible mom. Me too. I'm, I wanted this. Why aren't I feeling this? Or why do I want to walk out on my family? Mm-hmm. I love my family. They're wonderful. It it was just, I couldn't control it. Nope. I It was just how i responded it's chemicals it yeah. literally is a chemical and i think it's un- i think it's we can beat ourselves up because we're comparing ourselves to other people or, yeah. or uh, uh, society glamorizes social, uh, social yeah. media especially like it's just like i've loved you since i saw that double line mm-hmm. i didn't know you <laughs> Honestly, yeah. i thought you weren't gonna make it <laughs> like, yeah i could I'm, I'm wondering too if i don't get attached to her because of our past with miscarriages yes because I didn't have this with Noah. I mean, I kind of was like, oh, but I was not as bad with her. Yeah, with there was him. a guard up. Yes. Um, with her, 
I am constantly thinking like, how long until you're not with me anymore? Yes. You yes. know? And maybe that's a, a trauma thing after our miscarriage just because oh, that's sure. exactly how I felt with yeah. both of mine. Like, how long but, do I get to have you here? Yeah. And I don't want to, like, uh, even when we talked, when we've recorded these other episodes and we're like, what do you think she looks like? I want to say like, don't jinx it. Cause what if, yeah. what if, and I hate that. I think that yeah. way. Yeah. I hate that. That's how I have to think about this because mm -hmm. I never did that with my first one. Yeah. So I think until she's literally in my arms and they're like, she's good to go. But even then, like, I know anything could happen. Anything could happen forever. <laughs> forever. Yeah. Forever. Well, that's a tough thing too. Like, I, so am I not supposed to love anything because it could get taken away from me? That's so sad. I know, but that I think that's where you have to get back to. I think yeah. your initial response to being like, I'm not feeling that attachment, you backwards chaining, saying, why aren't I feeling that attachment? Oh, well, because I, I'm not sure how long she's going to be here. Well, is it realistic for you not to care if for, you know what I mean? forever? Yeah. yeah. So I think ask that's another just self-reflection yeah. moment about that. But it's tough. It's it tough. And I don't think if we're alone in it, don't tell us. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Don't tell There's us. Be one other person at least that understands. Are you sleeping OK? I was so uncomfortable at the end of my pregnancy. <laughs> I don't sleep at all. <sighs> I don't sleep for more than an hour at a time between mm -hmm. heartburn when I lay down. The heartburn I'm getting is fucking out of this world. Oh, it was it like your whole time? Because mine was this third trimester was yep horrible. It just hit me like yep. real bad. I've had it off and on. Before. I couldn't like lay flat. Nope. Which is terrible because I can't fucking sleep any other way. Yep. But when I lay down, it feels like there's lava sitting on my fucking throat and chest. And then I feel it come up and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to vomit. Yeah. And as soon as I sit up, it goes away. And I'm like. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I would rather just puke it out. Yeah. But between that, my back hurting so bad that I can't get comfortable, and then peeing. Oh my God. I so pee much. so much. I never peed this much with Noah. Mm. I also didn't know enough back then to know like how much fucking water I was supposed to drink. Yeah. And I really try to hit that goal every day. So I'm peeing like a lot more. Yeah. But I know it's healthier. I just didn't know back when though I was like two cups of water a day is probably That's fine. fine, right? Yeah. I got a little bit when I brushed my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> my saliva. Uh, what does your birthing plan look like and how did you decide it? Well, <laughs> my birthing plan goes like this. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> the plan Shane's words are the plan is there is no plan. Yeah. Here's what I've learned about birthing plans. Um Anything can fucking happen. We called ours SEAL, SEAL Team 6. Yeah. By any means necessary. Yes. Get them out. Yep. Like. I don't care. I tried to have a birthing plan with Noah and everything went wrong. And yeah. I was like, guess what? I'm not fucking doing this time. Yep. Is picking out a birthing plan because there, it's, it's just something that in that moment of stress is like an added stressor if you're like, well, this isn't going according to plan. See, I heard that there is like a shift instead of calling it a plan, people are calling it birth preferences. Like yeah. I would prefer this, but, but if not, okay. That's kind of like, I would prefer to go all natural. That's what I wanted to do because like I- Like no epidural? Like no epidural. Because I had a very bad experience with my epidural with Noah. However, with these contractions <laughs> recently, I've yeah. told Corey, we're going to have to switch up the plan. <laughs> yeah. Because me thinks, I don't know. I don't I see, know that I can do I it. I feel like, I wonder if I could have done it had I not been on Pitocin. Yeah, because well, the you Pitocin, did it before us. I know, but the Pitocin made it so fucking bad that I would be like, Sierra, please get the fucking epidural. But the Pitocin is what made my contraction so bad. Did you have Pitocin with uh, Forrest? Yes. You did? Okay. Yes, I, didn't, I didn't with Ollie. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah. all of your contractions were really bad too. They were really bad. See, I've but heard they were really long. contractions are terrible. Can confirm. Yeah. Like can confirm. <laughs> do they feel like when you have to shit or like a thousand times worse? Um, you heard the sounds that I made, right? It was no. like Yeah. You don't remember? I sounded like a force creature. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> not an exaggeration. Yeah, no, I my, And I uh, couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't speak. Yeah. It was future mother-in-law is a labor and delivery nurse she mm. says the things that she hears sometimes are like animalistic yeah yes yeah but it's normal they're like we're used to it i'm like that would scare the shit out well of people me. came running in mm -hmm. because they were like why is she screaming because i had just got the epidural but he started coming before uh -huh. that so yeah um 
Pitocin contractions are fucking bad. See, I was trying to t- explain my contractions to Corey, and I'm like, think pooping cramps, but like a hundred times worse. He's like, I don't know, man. I've had some really bad pooping cramps, and I was like, I don't think, think so. pooping cramps a <laughs> hundred times worse. I'm not exaggerating. It hurts so fucking bad. Um, we'll do one more. Okay, because a lot of these are kind of duplicates. Is Jerry the godmother? <laughs> I don't do godmothers. Yeah. But am I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Who's I'm gonna show I'm gonna fucking show up, Sam. Oh, okay. I'm gonna show up to the hospital in like a like the godmother <laughs> <laughs> like a whole big uh like Glenda the Good Witch. Yes. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> come in looking like. Are you gonna tell me I'm wrong? <laughs> She, she came, came down, down in a bubble, bubble Greg. Greg. Oh, oh Greg? <laughs> Why Greg? It's Doug. I know. <laughs> Greg. Oh, oh Greg. Greg. Did you just look for the spider again? Yeah, I'm so scared that he's got like a family up there. I know. Everyone just wants to know the name. Um, you don't get to know until she's <laughs> here. <laughs> you want to know why? Because I told people Noah's name early. I said it like as soon as we found out what we, we were having. And like 15 people named their kids Noah. Do I think they copied me? I don't fucking know, but I can't say that they didn't <laughs> because I said his name too early. Now he's got four Noahs in his class. Okay, we'll end with this one. Okay. Is Noah excited for the baby? He seems like he's going to be such a good big brother. Oh, he's more excited than any of us. I swear. It's just like... He also really loves me being pregnant. Like he runs up and he gets mm, hi baby and stuff. Yeah. We did have to have a talk with him. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> for lunch and it was terrible. <laughs> yeah. But um Corey brought it up, which I thought was really cool. But Corey had to be like, Hey bud, I just want you to know, like, if you ever want to spend some more time at your dad's, like overnight, yeah. um, if the baby is keeping you up, I know that you have school and I just don't want it to affect like how you feel during the day. It's gonna be a hard transition and I want you to know that like we'll never be mad at you if you say you need a break. Yeah, and, like, good for you for to- having that conversation. Yeah, I was so proud. I was like, oh my God. Oh my god, I don't deserve you. Everyone on the internet says you should leave. <laughs> Honestly, why are you here? Because we should both just, you know. I'll go back to my abusive ex. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that was like, and no, I was like, no, I'm so excited. I want to be there. Like, he wants to friggin' be helpful and be in it. He doesn't want to change diapers, but he's like, oh, yeah. oh who I'm, does? He wants to hold her all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, you can. I don't, you don't get in her face because. <laughs> You got the school germs. <laughs> uh, germy Yellow. kid germs. Yeah. But it is going to be like very exciting to know that I could just take a shower. Yes. Or do like whatever, a load of dishes, anything and be like, hey, she's laying down. Can you just keep an eye on Yeah. And not worry that he's going to like put something in her mouth yes. or like uh, the amount of times that I've come around the corner and Ollie has just piled everything he could carry <laughs> on top of Forrest. I'm like, what? Why? Yeah. Yeah. To know that I can leave him alone with her and not have to worry that like he's going to put her in danger in some yes. way because That's he's still so... a very present issue in my life yeah and it probably will be forever because <laughs> i they're about as close as me and my sister are and yeah. that's how it was with me <laughs> except taylor was the one that tortured me <laughs> so, i don't yes. know i've heard some stories about vice versa when we were older or what <laughs> <laughs> i don't know because maybe um, that's but, yeah. all I feel like that was that there a lot of them were repetitive but yeah, I hope good. you guys I hope you guys got a little bit of insight about Sierra's pregnancy Yay! she's gonna be here so soon oh my god in a month when this comes out it'll be birth month <gasps> this month she'll be uh, here I can't wait mm-hmm. literally just now she shifted backwards and like when I tell you it feels like my asshole is opening up <laughs> <laughs> when she sits sometimes here's something for you guys she's head down now so when she gets hiccups, I feel them in my asshole. <laughs> Is that weird? Do you get lightning crotch? Oh, yeah. Oh, lightning crotch. You'll just be sitting there and then all of a sudden you're like, oh. Yep. And it's mm-hmm. just like, Bloop. do you ever feel like the little fishies? Like when she like headbutts? We've talked about this. Uh, did we? On the podcast? Yes. I never know what we talk about <laughs> off the podcast and yeah. on. But yeah. Because you made the like- fishy joke and then I <laughs> said it was my husband. And then that's how we got into the you never let me see you horny conversation. Oh, yeah. You can tell that I have to watch us a lot. A lot. And I'm like, I don't remember what was said. 
But yeah, yeah, that's that. Those two feelings when she like is head down and bumping on my shit. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, pregnancy doesn't have to be a joy, and it doesn't make you a bad parent. So remember yeah. that. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. That's that on Sierra's pregnancy. Yay! Hopefully, we get to meet her soon. Yeah, but not next, too soon. Next thing we'll talk about is your <gasps> delivery. <gasps> Exciting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.